Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really wanted to come on here really quick to share with you that I just presented my first webinar and I am so excited because it went, it went very well. Oh my goodness. It was on succession planning and innovation in workforce development programs. And I, in that webinar, I discussed the apprenticeship and internship programs that I developed to help a department within the city. And it was for an organization that's actually based out in the Bay Area, out in San Francisco, California. And it's a really big organization. Um, they cover the whole entire Bay Area, that whole region, um, with support and resources for workforce development programming and, you know, just a lot of, of great resources for employees and employers. So when I was invited to do the webinar, I was blown away because one of my goals for 2020, one of my 2020 vision goals was to do webinars, be a panelist at a conference, and also to do a workshop at a conference. And so being that this is still January of 2020, here I am and did my very first webinar. And in a couple of months, I'm going to be a panelist at an apprenticeship conference. And a couple of months after that, I'm going to be doing a workshop, a two hour workshop at another conference. So I, it's amazing when you write down your goals and they come to pass, but it really does take a lot of work. And I was so ultra focused on making sure that I covered everything that needed to be covered in this webinar. It was just for an hour. And, you know, the team that helped me with it out there in San Francisco were amazing. They were so professional. They were definitely setting me up for success. I gave them much more than they needed at first. <laughs> my first draft of the um, PowerPoint was 75 slides. Oh my goodness. But I'm of the mindset, I'd rather give you more than you need than more than you need. Because at least you can scale back versus if they would have said we need more, then I would have had to try to figure out what else can I add to it. So I was able to scale it down to 45 slides. It was an hour. I stayed within the time exactly almost to the minute. Had amazing poll questions, had great audience participation. There were about 36 people live that were participating in the webinar. And out of those 36, 76% of them answered the three poll questions that I had laced throughout the presentation. It was great content, and I do believe that all of the participants have, were able to take away a nugget that they can possibly implement into their organization to start a program that will help with succession planning. Um, I really find, especially if you are in an industry, which is just about all industries that are looking at ways to do better with your succession planning, apprenticeship programs and internship programs are the way to go. It helps with the return on investment. You have uh, more retention with the participants because of all the things that you provide for them. They feel like, I think they feel like they have an, a, more of an allegiance, more, um, they have more of a buy-in because they feel like you're buying into them. And so they have more of stick to itness when it comes to completing the program and staying on and being great employees moving forward. Um, they realize, at least the ones I work with, that it's not just a job, it is a career opportunity. You have to start somewhere and they're typically starting at the entry level. But because I put them in the mindset of to continue to grow and hone their craft and you know, really take advantage of opportunities, they continue to grow and become professionally developed, which puts them in line to be future leaders. <laughs> and it, it all works out. You know, like I said, my word last year, my phrase was trust the process and my participants trusted the process. And out of, let me see, 15 participants, I only lost three and they basically self-selected themselves out for a variety of reasons that um, many were not um, 
not of their control. So I feel really good. One of the questions was, you know, how do you have such a high success rate? And I have such a high success rate because I never anticipate anyone dropping out. So if you go into a situation where you expect everyone to finish, guess what? They'll meet those expectations. If you go into a situation and you expect everyone to drop or a lot of people to drop or not to stick in with it, then guess what'll happen? they won't stick to it because I think it's the aura that you bring when you have those feelings. I start off with, listen, I, you all are here day one. I expect all of you to be here at the end and I make it worth their while. Um, another thing is I had some great questions from the participants. There were two opportunities during the webinar where we opened the floor up for the questions. Some of the questions the uh, moderator is going to filter to me because I weren't I wasn't able to get to all of the questions. I love questions. Cold questions are to me they give me life because it makes me stay so present because I really want to give them a robust answer that um, they can walk away saying, "Okay, yeah, she got me." Um, so I feel like it went over very well. The only difference is that North Carolina is not a union state and California, where most of the participants were from calling in from, were from California, which is a union state. So that's the only, you know, little caveat that I found with the whole presentation, but that's okay. It's still all relevant and it's still all relative. So, um, you know, it's definitely transferable skills or and ideas that they can take to their organizations. But you guys, I'm just so excited. I'm exhausted right now. As you can imagine, when you're preparing for something big and you're putting your all into it, that's all you're thinking about as I'm driving. I'm thinking about my first four slides. My first four slides are the ones that were tripping me up just and it turned out this morning at the last minute I decided to change the order of the first four slides and the, it just made the flow so much better you know it was the content was something that I live and breathe every day but I still felt like I needed to have it a little scripted I did not want to get off topic I did not want to ramble so I was able to write out the things that I wanted to cover. And I think that's why I was able to stay within the time frame. Oh, y'all, I wasn't even thinking about staying within the time frame. Like that's not something I practiced, but it, it happened authentically. And the, the, the debrief that I had with the team that, you know, invited me and that coached me through they said that I came, oh, I came off as being trustworthy and believable. Oh my goodness. Like that, that just boosted me up so much because that's what I want to be. That's, that's, that's not some, something I try. That's just who I am. And the fact that it was able to translate through a webinar presentation meant the world to me because I am so passionate about workforce development and really helping others, being that resource, giving people opportunities until, you know, I can't even say it enough. It, it, it's, that's just who I am. I'm, I'm actually living and working in my passion and not too many people I understand have, can say that, you know, um, I, I, I work around a lot of people that are disgruntled, that are not living and working in their passion and they are they're just sad you know um i decided in 2020 that i was not going to allow myself to be surrounded by that energy because it's so opposite of how i feel and i just feel if you're not where you want to be you need to make the most of where you are and work towards what it is that you want to be or want to do. Because it's out there. You just have to tap into it and you really have to trust it and know that when you are working in the realm of your passion, your purpose, your skill set, that all things will come. You know, so many people do not trust it. They don't believe that they can make a living off of what they love. I mean, for what I'm doing, in addition to doing it for myself, but the organization that I'm doing it for, I would have in a, never in a million years thought that this type of organization could utilize my talents and that my talents could be spilled over and 
poured into at the same time. You know, I'm able to spill out and receive. And, you know, you just never know. You just never know. Just go for it is what I say. Just go for it. But you guys, I just wanted to come here and share that information with you. I'm getting ready to head on out. Call it an early evening and just go home and relax. And I hope that you all had a great day. I really do. Please write down two things that happened amazing for you today. <laughs> you know, just think about it. It could be as simple as... Your coffee, you made your coffee with the right blend. You know, you put the right amount of cream and sugar in it. It could be a joke that someone told you that made you laugh so hard. When my daughter, I have one still home and she's a senior in high school. I ask her every day, what made you laugh? Really laugh today. So what made you laugh today? What What is that? What are the two things that you ha that happened to you or that you did today that was amazing? It may be a project that you finished. It may be a phone call that you received. It may be um, someone opened the door for you and you really weren't expecting them to, but you needed them to. You know, just little things. It, it could be big or small, but please share it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you feel someone else needed to hear this, please be sure to share it. Remember, your 2020 vision is only a dream unless you write it down. So write down your vision for 2020, your goals, anything that you desire, and you work towards it, you keep taking those baby steps towards it, and it will come to pass. Until the next time we speak, everyone, please stay safe.